Factsverse presents… The way history's biggest figures actually looked proves we had it all wrong. Thanks to technology, we don't have to wonder what a person looks like. With a simple Google search, we can have access to their social media pages and other sites where you can view their photos. For most of history, we've relied on portraits and sculptures of influential people. Unfortunately, the artist didn't always get it right, or would sometimes even intentionally change the look to make the person appear more attractive or more authoritative. A group of high-tech historians used CGI to recreate these famous faces, and the way history's biggest figures actually looked, it really shows that we had it all wrong. King Tut In 1922, Howard Carter discovered the tomb of King Tut. It's believed that he looked very different in real life – uh, Tut, that is, not Howard Carter. He was a product of extensive breeding, and it left him with many genetic defects. Since he only ruled Egypt for a decade, it's assumed that he died young due to a disease or an infected leg fracture. Queen Elizabeth I There are plenty of portraits of Queen Elizabeth I, but it's believed that the painters made her look younger than she actually was. Matt Collishaw created an animatronic face of the Queen complete with wisps of facial hair and smallpox scars. Julius Caesar Julius Caesar was a Roman dictator until he was assassinated at the hands of the Senate. In 2018, the National Museum of Antiquities in Leiden tried to create Caesar to see what he would really look like. In the end, the real Caesar looks similar to the portraits, only a few changes. George Washington George Washington was the first president of the United States, and there are many portraits of him in existence. The only problem is the wide range of artistic interpretations. Two portraits of him would look entirely different from each other. Historians used information from first-hand descriptions and the works of the more trustworthy artists to come up with what they are sure George Washington actually looked like. Cleopatra Cleopatra is believed to have been a beautiful woman. In fact, she was considered to be the most beautiful woman in Egypt at the time. She was also the love interest of Caesar ally Mark Antony and the final ruler of Egypt. Photos of her are based on the modern description of beauty, which is why we picture her as Elizabeth Taylor all the time. But those artists had it all wrong. Based on coin portraits, she had a very prominent jaw and a large, hooked nose. She is far from being attractive, at least compared to today's standards. Maximilien Robespierre This lawyer was a huge fan of death by guillotine. During the French Revolution, he engineered the Reign of Terror. After over 17,000 men and women were killed, he was executed himself. Before he was buried, his executioners made a death mask. When a team of forensic pathologists recreated his face, they included the wrinkles and pits in his skin that artists left out when drawing his portrait. Jesus Christ the physical descriptions of Jesus in the Bible are pretty generic, and many people find that to be kind of strange. That's also the reason why people had to come up with their own ideas of what Jesus actually looked like. What we see in paintings of Jesus, it shows him with mostly European features. In 2015, a group of researchers used skulls from adult Israelis from that era to create a rough idea of what they think Jesus might have looked like. Augustus after his great-uncle Julius Caesar died, Octavian hunted down his assassins and tried to become the first emperor of Rome. He renamed himself Augustus, and over the years, artists have painted his portrait. Modern artists tried to recreate his boyish look, and they used ancient paintings of a young Octavian as a reference. Johann Sebastian Bach This man was one of the most influential composers of the Baroque period. Throughout his life, Bach wrote over 1,100 compositions. When he died, his body was placed in an unmarked grave, only to be moved to a vault in St. Thomas Church 150 years later. Based on his skull, historians were able to determine what he really looked like. His portraits look strikingly similar to what he actually did look like. Unlike many other historical figures, it appears that Bach didn't ask to look younger or more attractive in his portraits. Historians believed that he really wanted his portraits to look just like him. Nefertiti Nefertiti oversaw the most prosperous age of ancient Egypt. Many researchers believe that she disguised herself as a man to solidify her reign after the death of her husband. In 2003, a mummy nicknamed the Younger Lady was excavated, and it's believed to be the remains of Queen Nefertiti. 
A paleo artist named Elizabeth Danes scanned the entire body and created a 3D likeness of the mummy, and she's sure that this is what Nefertini would really have looked like. Some historians don't believe that it is Nefertini at all, though, and that the younger lady mummy is an entirely different woman. But if Queen Nefertiti is the woman that's the mummy, then this is what she would look like. Did any of these historical figures surprise you? If so, tell us which ones in the comments below. And subscribe for more!